Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Barb Makes Things! A few years ago I did this conductive poetry video. The quality could be better, the lighting, the handwriting. Plus I have no footage of making it. So I decided to give it another shot. Back then I used bare conductive paint. It came in tubes like this, now like this. Both cost about $10 a pop. I could have used it again this time and made it easy on myself, but what's the fun in that? But I was curious about making my own conductive paint. I've seen write-ups here and there, and there are a few things that I wanted to test out. You may have used a pencil before to make a simple electrical circuit. If you haven't, try it. So we know that graphite works to conduct electricity, but I saw this instructable that used charcoal blended up actual chunks of burned up wood, and they suggested that you could also use activated charcoal powder. Let's try it. So my materials to test are graphite, activated charcoal powder, and both black paint and clear glue as binders. Ultimately, I decided to test some artist charcoal as well. I mix up the paint at Crash Base because it's easiest to clean there. And of course, I forgot to bring a measuring spoon. I'm sure I could have used something else, but what am I supposed to pass up the opportunity to 3D print a measuring spoon? My measurements were this. I did roughly two parts graphite or charcoal, and two parts of binder, either acrylic paint or glue, and about one part water is needed to get a workable consistency. By the way, if you're doing this, these are fine powders. You really don't want to be breathing them. I made two lines for each mixture, one for a thinly spread layer and one a little bit thicker. Once I let it dry, I could do a relative measurement of the resistance of each of them. I fixed two leads from a multimeter to a paintbrush and measured the resistance on each of my lines. I saw no response from the activated charcoal or the artist charcoal. Ah oh, well, onto the graphite. There we go. The thicker lines of paint did better than the thin ones. And here's our winner, graphite with black acrylic paint. So we have our winner, a thick line of graphite and acrylic paint. The glue seemed to make a smoother consistency that was easier to paint with, but the acrylic paint did better in the tests, possibly because it's more viscous and keeps a larger amount together. So acrylic paint it is. I don't know what it was in the charcoal instructable that made it conductive, but charcoal powder, artists, or activated doesn't work at all. This means that I have a big bag of activated charcoal powder that I can't use for conductive paint. Any ideas what I should do with it? Leave a comment below with your thoughts. So it's not exactly hard to mix up your own conductive paint, and it's certainly cheaper, but it is a bit messy. Uh, 
and if you don't have the time, getting a tube of pre-made paint might be worth it for you. Still, it's neat to try to make it yourself. Man, I didn't even use this stuff today. Ah, uh, really? Next for my conductive poetry will be to do the actual lettering and to make those little light-up bobbers. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ah, it's everywhere! Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how-tos. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.